Thank you so much, Brad. We are out here spending this gorgeous Wednesday celebrating April Food Day in partnership with the United Way. And I'm joined by some of the fabulous students here at Providence Catholic High School in New Lenox. Hello. An enthusiastic crowd, and you can see many of these students have in their hands these uh, non-perishable foods. This is all a part of the work that the United Way is doing. They are gathering food to help address food insecurities. That's the goal of April Food Day, and this year the United Way has decided to focus on the south and southwest suburbs. That's one of the reasons we're here in New Lenox, because we're stopping at local high schools, uh, asking all of these awesome students to partner with us in gathering this food, ultimately getting it to the United Way so that they can help people in these communities who find that they're struggling to put food on the table, be it because of any post-pandemic issues or inflation or, or any other reasons that they might have food insecurities, which is a problem. You might think it's not uh, in a region like this, but it certainly is. That's what data from the United Way has found, and it's what you'll hear when you're in various communities. So we've got all of these boxes piled up, wonderful food that's been gathered by some of these great students uh, here at Providence Catholic. And if I can, I'd like to start, we can chat with some of our students who've been able to gather some of this. Sean, I'm going to start with you, a member of the football team, correct? Yep, yep. Great. <laughs> Thank you for speaking with us. Uh, what does it mean for you guys to give back? Obviously, team is a, is a huge theme, and, and that's sort of what we're doing today, right? Looking out for other people who, who are in our community. Yeah, it's awesome giving back to the community. You know, uh, Providence here, they really hit it in on us early, doing uh, service hours out and about around town, you know, giving back to the parish and a uh, church like that. So it's awesome for us. I also heard you guys had a really great year uh, last year, last season. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, no, that was a great journey, too. I mean, wouldn't have it uh, anyway with the boys back here. So <laughs> it was awesome, you know, going down to state. Didn't end up the way we wanted to, but great season. Yeah, to just to be there is a huge accomplishment. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. I now want to move down to the ladies basketball team. Hello, hello. Hi. We're speaking with Gia. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, tell me a little bit about... Uh, the reason you give back, what is the feel at a school like Providence? This this idea of service and giving back and looking out for other people. I would assume it's one of the pillars of your education here. Yeah, at Providence, it's really important to give back to everyone. They really teach us that. We have service hours every year and we do service projects. And especially for the girls basketball team, we did many different service projects. I've heard that. Can you tell me another uh, project that you did service-wise? So we did a Super Celtic special needs camp for little kids with special needs. Oh, wow. Yeah. How, I'm sure they loved it. Yes, it was really fun. Good, good. Well, thank you. I see everybody's got their hands full of some of these items that will be going to the United Way. Uh, finally, I am coming down to Drew, member of the baseball team. What do you what do you have here? Uh, some Dr Pepper baked beans. Oh, sweet, sweet and a bit sassy. I like that. Here, let's show the there camera what he's got here. Um, I think a lot of people have the assumption that you know, um, if you don't talk about it, you don't know that there's a problem when it comes to many things. But that includes not having enough food on the table. So, what does it mean to you to be a part of this and and being able to help out the United Way, make sure that people in your community don't go hungry? Um, it's a big deal for us, like giving back. Our whole baseball team went to feed my starving children before earlier in the year oh, and just package food to help out those that need. So we really enjoy doing this. Does it feel good? Oh, it feels amazing. Does it feel fun to be on CBS too? It feels awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> well, we're just as thrilled to be with you all and thank you for helping us in our mission to help the United Way. I'm going to step out of the way and if you guys want to start bringing some of these boxes and some of these canned goods onto the CBS2 trolley that we've commandeered for the day. Uh, while you do that, you're going to hear uh, my voice Voice as I speak to Providence's principal, you've got to be so proud of these students. I am. They're great kids. We're blessed to have them. We appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this. Um, on two days notice in an hour this morning we raised over a thousand items of food wow you heard the kids allude to the service requirements mm -hmm. there's never any pushback to that our kids our student body does over 15,000 hours of service per year so it's really an important thing to us and this is just another opportunity to do that and in short notice they didn't flinch they didn't blink Not at all no this was as easy as could be one announcement one email and this happened well, that speaks a lot to uh, the good work you're doing here at Providence. So congratulations on, on that and all of these great kids who are lined up uh, to get on the bus here. So this, as I mentioned, is the CBS2 trolley uh, we have secured for the day. Every student is bringing on one of these boxes and some of these canned goods. This will ultimately end up with us, where we stop on our final stop of the day at the Tinley Park Convention Center. That is where the United Way will be sorting and going through all of these items to eventually bring them to 10 different food pantries uh, around our area that are helping so many families in need. So, hey, thank you again, Providence. 
We so appreciate it. Be sure to stick with us here on the stream on CBS2 as we go to our next stop to another high school here in the south and southwest suburbs that is making such a difference in the lives of families. For now, I will send it back to the stream.